Hello Pisces, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Hope all is well with everyone. And Pisces, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay Pisces, let's find out what are your love messages today. Spirits and angels, please show me important now for your love messages for Pisces today. Okay. Please show me more. See how that card, don't show you, I don't think you can see that the card just flipped out nicely. But it's not a nice card, but we'll, we'll see, okay? Can you show me more? Bottom of the deck, the Empress. Okay, please don't forget. Pisces roles can be reversed in this reading. It could either be you or the other person you're thinking about or dealing with, okay? Hmm. The Empress as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. I feel like Pisces, um, yeah, you. I feel like you definitely, I can see here, you have been uh, treated really badly, okay? Or unfairly this person could have lied could have cheated the seven of swords right there but being the empress here you are the empress okay i believe this is you but again pisces rules can be reversed okay but the empress here i'm sensing this is you you are still you know you are full of uh, abundance you know you are doesn't matter empress or emperor it's not gender specific here okay but the Empress definitely indicates someone whom is very prosperous, very abundant, um, very loving, very caring, very nurturing, kind-hearted, you know, just full of love, full, full of love. But I feel like the thing is this person did not appreciate you for who you are. You are the Empress and they're coming in as the Page of Cups. Page is, <laughs> page is the lowest rank. You know, in, in tarot, there's page, knight, okay, and then we've got the king and queens and empress and emperor. So we've got the page here, which is the youngest. I, I'm sensing Pisces, maybe you guys have a quite a big age gap, okay? Because if not, it's just about, if it's not about the age gap, it's about emotional maturity. They may not be as mature as you are emotionally, okay? If it's not about the age gap. But the hangman is in reverse. I feel like someone here could be seeing things in a completely different perspective after what had happened. We've got the nine of swords here. I feel like there's a lot of stress, a lot of, I feel like this person, whether it's you or them, okay, but I do see a cheater here, okay, someone could have lied and cheated or could have stolen as well, <laughs> not not all, but, you know, the seven swords is actually a thief, right, so basically, generally, it means dishonesty, okay, someone who is being very dishonest um, and also very deceptive, I guess it's the same thing, nine of swords, right here is indicating that uh, they are stressing out they're crying at night they're losing sleep okay but but pisces you you're here right you got pisces cancer scorpio could be you or them who knows you could also be dealing with somebody with the uh, water sign in their chart but i also see virgo capricorn taurus libra gemini aquarius again it doesn't really matter Okay, the signs, we all could embody any of it. And we are also seeing Aries here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. So, but we've got the Nine of Wands. I feel like someone could have been hurt from whatever that's happened between the two of you here. But, um, but still standing, okay? Still standing, still powerful, you know, still okay, although hurt, but still okay. But I do see someone here also um, has been thinking a lot. I do see a lot of stress, a lot of stress, a lot of worries and feeling stuck in their head. 
um, possibly they miss you a lot or that you miss them. Uh, the fool is in reverse. Somebody has been a fool, you know, because look at the seven of swords here in reverse as well. So I feel like someone has gotten caught because this person is just, I'm sorry, I have to say this. This person is not the brightest, okay? Possibly, um, um, <laughs> I want to say something, but I think I better not. But the judgment is in reverse. This person could have used the, the um, could have made a bad judgment call, okay, with the judgment card in reverse. And we've got the Queen of Cups here too. I feel like there's a lot of sadness. But in, um, I feel like for most of you, because these two are, to me, intuition card as well. The Moon, it speaks about secrets, but the Queen of Cups, um, the moon could also indicate intuition, fear, anxiety. Yeah, I do see that someone quietly, they may not show it in front of you, but quietly they are stressing out, crying at night. They, they are full of fear and anxiety in regards to some secrets that they have been hiding from you that could have been found out. Okay, but the judgment is in reverse, so they made the wrong judgment call here. Um, and we've got the Queen of Cups. I'm also this could be someone else, or it just could be your own energy. Um, but it could also mean making a, a wrong judgment call in getting themselves involved with someone else. Okay, but the Queen of Cups could also indicate love here. I feel like um, you have maybe there's still love, either they still love you or that you still love them. But whatever the case was, I feel like no matter how immature this person can be, how idiotic this person can be, I feel like, um, you know, they do have feelings for you, but, but, but I want to say young and dumb, okay, um, if they're not young, I think they are young, okay? If not, they're just really emotionally immature because I do see someone, one person here is very mature. The Empress here, even the Queen of Cups is mature. Someone here is very, very mature and, you know, beautiful or good looking if you're a guy, abundant. But on the, on the other hand, the other person is just so immature. Four of Pentacles is in reverse here. It's about some, I feel like someone may just want to let go of this connection because the four of pentacles in reverse in, indicates also letting go. But for me, it could also indicate that someone just dropped the ball basically and again, acting immaturely because the hermit in reverse, although to me, um, I do read it as, you know, most times as coming out of the hermit mode, having learned some lessons, you know, through this experience. But um, yeah, that could be that too. Maybe they have learned their lessons from whatever that's happened and they could be facing their, their karma too, okay? They're stressing out because they're facing their karma with the judgment card here in reverse. Um, and we've got the, but the hermit in reverse could also indicate someone whom I sometimes do read this card as not being uh, wise, okay, in their decision making. So uh, because a hermit is actually a, um, a character that is full of wisdom and knowledge, or at least trying to seek for it, and they are usually very wise. In reverse, I would sometimes read it as uh, the opposite of wise, so <laughs> immature, okay, not wise at making, at decision making, okay. King of Pentacles is right here, but, you know, I do see a couple of uh, one, two, three, possibly four person here or three person. doesn't really matter sometimes, even if, you know, there's a figure in the card does not mean a person literally could just be the energy. But the King of Pentacles right here, I feel like someone here decided to um, not not go back to the past with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, sorry, Six of Cups in reverse, not wanting to revisit the past here because maybe they could have been cheated on and lied to. And um, I, I also am sensing here with the Hermit in reverse, maybe... Um, if someone has gone into the hermit mode, isolated themselves and trying to seek from within and soul search, I feel like um, they're going to come out basically much stronger. You Maybe that's you, right? Pisces coming out much stronger and decisive as well and choosing choosing stability choosing loyalty and stability in you know for yourself and you know for for your next you know love 
love interest. But I do see with the Six of Cups in reverse, um, there's a sense of not wanting to take this risk again as well with the Fool in reverse. Yeah, not wanting to take the risk with this person again. But Pisces, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you tomorrow as I post your video almost every single day. Take care, Pisces. Bye.